Hey everybody, it's Miranda here with a design team project for Discount Paper Crafts and I've created another one of the Ultra Clocks. I know you guys are probably so sick of me doing these but they are so addictive and they are so fun and now that Tim Holtz has these assemblage ones, um, his new line, it's just so easy to get your hands on one and this one's already gutted out for you and ready to alter so it's really really fun. Kathy had a bunch of these in her store and they sold out like immediately but she has another batch of them ordered and they will be in any day. So keep your eyes pulled over there so you guys can grab them. They are super, super fun to play with. So I will link down below to her store, of course, so you guys can go over there and check out all the other stuff I used and then wait on the Timmy Clocks to come in. But I used the Prima Engraver line on here, and I wanted to, I couldn't decide if I wanted to cover the entire clock in metal foil tape, you know, like the aluminum foil tape you can get at hardware stores. Um, I've worked with this stuff a lot in the past, and I absolutely love it. You, there's so many options, so I didn't know if I wanted to do that or if I wanted to use paper, and I couldn't decide, so I decided to do both of them, and it's a really fun technique. It's pretty time consuming, but I really, really love the way it came out with, like, the metal poking out from underneath the paper. So I just randomly went on in different areas with the aluminum foil tape and like these are some Imaginarium chippies and I just put fly in there like time flies fly and then I just have some random letters up here and I just made it look like sheet metal you know did different um, markings on there with my stylus I did it up here on the little bell like it's sheet metal and then over here just randomly went in with the foil tape I did it all the way on the inside hopefully you can see in there it's completely covered on the inside there's some numbers in there all the way up to the top okay and then on this side as well there's some numbers just randomly over here so I did this to the whole thing and then I took my Prima engraver paper I'm sure you guys know when you're trying to put paper on a curved surface it just does not work very well so what I have found to do and I really love the way it comes out it's so textured it's just to emboss your paper um, I emboss mine and then I tear it into little strips and then I just started hearing it on there so it is time consuming but I just kind of tear them and place them as I go and it creates this really cool effect I can't really explain it almost looks like this is not paper like it's some kind of texture paste with script on it it just looks really really cool um, like no clean edges you know everything's like just um feathered out so it just blends really well with the background aluminum foil so like I said this is the Prima engraver paper I absolutely love this line and Kathy does have this back in her store again this one sold out super quick when she first got it um, so it's in her store now so you guys if you want to get your hands on it run over there and get it really quickly because this is just an amazing amazing line I absolutely love it um, I wanted to add just one accent color to the browns and blacks and whites so I, I chose pink and just used a few pink flowers and stuff to accent it. But like I said, I did like an abstract time theme and I came up with time flies first. So then I did like a mixed media collage and I made a butterfly. And I didn't have a butterfly die cut, the shape that I, or size that I wanted. So I just went to Google and typed in butterfly silhouette and just came up with some black and white images of butterflies, printed out one that I liked, and then just cut it out. And this is what I came up with. I did back it with chipboard so it would be really sturdy. And then I just kind of did the whole mixed media collaging thing. Um, I have quite a few things going on here. The center of the butterfly body is a little Tim Holtz um, clock. And then I have some Hello Pastel flowers from Prima over here are from Kathy's store as well. I have a piece of a Prima engraver flower back there. And then the other half is back there. It's so hard to show inside of these shadow boxes, so bear with me, y'all. I have a Melissa Francis frame piece over here with a Prima Mechanical number 5 on the inside from Kathy Stores. All the mechanicals came from um, Discount Paper Crafts. I have some of those little nail heads from the Mechanicals line. This is a little hinge um, from Kathy Store. I can't remember the brand or what it is, but it's just a little chipboard hinge. And then down here I have um, a little mechanical flower and another little nail head on there. This is a Tim Holtz plaquette and this is 14 on there. have a little Prima trinket down here. It's a butterfly and then another one of those same chippy pieces there. Um, like I said, Hello Pastel flowers over here. And then over here I have like a little frame in the background and then I have a mechanical metal flower on top of it. And then I took these chipboard clock handles and just placed them to kind of represent the inside of the clock and put a little nail head there. This is a metal wing from my stash. Let me see if I can find a way the lighting will show it a little better. It's kind of hard to show. Um, I have some Prima Mechanicals over here. There's a seven and then just a little pink paisley mistable heart kind of tucked in back there if you can see it. 
and then I have another mechanical flower up here. So the whole thing is covered with metals and chipboards and flowers and Tim Holtz stuff. And then I just gessoed it randomly. I didn't gesso the entire thing because I wanted some of the metal parts to show through. And then I just went in with my mists, some shimmer sprays to um, do the colors that I wanted. The back of the clock, it does come with a metal cover. Um, but my first problem was I had put all this paper all the way around the engraver line and it was not wanting to slip back in there because I'd created, you know, um, a raised area and it didn't fit properly. So I just decided to use some mesh back here and it was the last of this black netting I had. Or it's not really netting, it's thick plastic, but kind of looks like chicken wire, but it's black. So that's what I used back there. I had just enough to cover it up. Um, over here, I started adding embellishments to the outside. I tied a little seam binding bow and it's black. I have some Prima engraver flowers here. Look how beautiful these are, y'all. They are so, so pretty. Definitely a must have. I absolutely love them. So I have that there, another little Prima flower here. I cut, when I printed out this butterfly, I had two smaller ones on it. So this is one of those that I just printed out and then cut out myself to get a good shape that I liked. Um, I have half of a Prima Mechanical clock piece up here, and I just cut it in half on my honey's band saw out in his shop. I don't really know another way to cut them. The Timmy scissors definitely isn't going to do it, so um, I wish I could give you guys a tip to be able to cut these yourself. But anyway, I just cut it in half and put half of it up here. I have more Prima Engraver flowers kind of tucking in and out there. Look how pretty this one is. It's just gorgeous. And then I did the same even up here on the handle of the clock. I did the metal. I want it to be, you know cover the whole thing and then right here around the lip too so I want it to look really finished this is a Prima Lyric flower from Discount Paper Crafts all the flowers minus this one came from Discount Paper Crafts she always has all the latest Prima flowers in there so that's a little Lyric one just to kind of tie the pink in together little hints of pink in there and then I just attached some chain coming from the outside through the mesh and then coming to the inside some of it's kind of fallen through with me moving it around but it just kind of dangles down on the inside of there over here I have a few of those um, mechanical nail heads from Prima and Finnebar line and I put those there and then here I have a couple more going down the little lip or edge of the clock and then I put these Prima alphas from Kathy store too and it says time flies okay so that is basically it you guys sorry I'm getting a little tongue-tied I'm like trying to show you guys this really quickly and stuttering on my words but I hope that you like it and of course there's still shots so you guys can see more details there will be a link to discount paper crafts down below um, definitely got to get the engraver line y'all it's so so awesome and like I said stay tuned because she will be getting more of the Tim Holtz clocks back in stock super super fun so I hope everybody likes it and I hope you have a wonderful week and I will catch up with y'all later bye